Hello, uh, my name is Tony Manese. I'm a director at Brent Holtz WA. Uh, Brent Holtz WA is a chartered accounting firm uh, whose purpose is to help our clients grow a sustainable, profitable business. And with that purpose, I'd like to talk to you today about um, what I believe are, you know, is the key focus for business for 2013. So I'm going to talk particularly today about what I think is most important, and that is to increase sales and hence generate a sustainable cash flow. I think that's the biggest challenge that a lot of businesses are facing today. So I'm going to talk about three things, three concepts that I think can help businesses achieve that outcome. First concept I want to talk about is um, target customer and value proposition. I still think there's a lot of businesses out there that aren't clear on who their target customer is and what their value proposition is. Um, I think without clearly defining who your target customer is, there's a real risk that in your business you're engaging in activities that really aren't directed towards your target customer. Um, the second thing is being very clear on your value proposition for your target customer. So that's the question, the why question. You know, why should a particular business deal with your company? Um, once you're clear on those two things, then um, it becomes much easier to define your key processes and eliminate things that aren't important to achieving that outcome. The second, most, the second thing that a business can focus on to increase sales and generate sustainable cash flow is, um, is to focus on this matrix. And effectively this matrix highlights four strategies for a business to grow sales. One, is, one, uh, one strategy that a business can engage on is to sell is to further sell existing products to existing customers. The second strategy that a business can focus on is to sell existing products to new customers. The third strategy that a business can focus on is to sell um, new products and services to existing customers. And the last strategy is for a business to focus on selling new products to new customers. Um, if you look at most businesses, that is not a desirable strategy. Um, focusing, selling new products to new customers. In, in essence, um, in that situation, a, custom, a business is diversifying. Generally, the easiest strategies for a, a company to focus on is to sell existing products to existing customers, and that's probably the lowest risk strategy. The next uh, most desirable strategy is to sell existing products to new customers, and the third strategy is to look for new products or services to sell to existing customers. So really what I encourage all businesses to look for is which of those three strategies um, have the greatest potential to increase sales and build sustained um, cash flow. The third thing I just want to explore, um, you know, um, I think is a, is a great tool to look at how to increase sales is to, you know, set an objective, increase sales, but let's look at the positive forces that can increase sales. And let's look at the negative forces that are stopping us to increase sales. So for example, if our objective is to increase sales, and often you can even actually put the amount you want to increase your sales by, is what are the positive things we can do? So for example, we could have, you know, improve our sales process. We could have recruit new people, various other things. On the negative side, for example, we could have lack of training is stopping us increasing sales. And again, we have a number of different things. And so a great exercise to brainstorm with your team. What are the things that can increase? What are the things that are stopping us? Once you've done that, then you can identify your top three. So, for example, it could be that, it could be that, and it could be that. So once the business has identified those top three, then it can focus on actions to um, implement sales process, recruit, or whatever the other actions that have been identified. Um, I think there are three neat little tools that are, are three neat things that a business can focus on with the objective of increasing sales and generating a sustainable cash flow. Thank you.